I'm Sid. Um, I work here at The Forge. Um, and outside of that, I'm also a studio artist. What really got me started with art was just, I've always just kind of done it um, since I was a kid. It was kind of my like go-to hobby. And then eventually it turned into basically what I do for a living now, which I really enjoy. I draw a lot of a lot from like graffiti culture. Um, I've had a lot of experience with actually doing graffiti myself, but um, as I've gotten older, it's been less of a prevalent thing. But I draw from it mostly because it's very public and it's a way, it's sort of like an embodiment of like collective art. A lot of people come together to make these graffiti walls and that's something I explore in my art a little bit too and the things I make in that I want people to add to them and like interact with them and I think that's so fun and very human. I draw from a lot of influences but I do draw from a lot of like cultural influences like um, I research a lot of like um, cultures that I'm unfamiliar with just because I think it's interesting to learn about them and then I try to very respectfully sort of represent that and understand the symbol a symbolism between different cultural aspects. Like with the Frog Temple, I drew from both like Buddhist and Hindu um, like practice. And I really tried to understand what the symbolisms were between with these specific icons and then I tried to incorporate them into sort of an interactive piece. So often I, it usually starts with like just being inspired by something and then trying to get stuff down as sketches. Sometimes I'll just see like a funky shape and I'll be like, oh, I want to draw that. I want to, because a lot of like with making, I feel like reproducing things is really cool. Like recently I've been very inspired by the shape of a goose because um, it got that kind of like, shape. So it's fun to just kind of rip on that. And then from there I try to develop a look at what mediums are available to me. And I think that's one of the great things about working here is that I have a lot of stuff available to me. And I can be very creative and explore um, different mediums. And then I try to like, like I'm very iterative, um, mostly because I study graphic design and that's a process where you go back and go forward a lot. So I try to do that with my art too. And um, like, for example, sometimes I cut vinyl and it just does not turn out right, but then I know what I want to do. So I go back and I adjust and then um, I go through that. And then usually the final part of my process involves getting other people in on it. Cause I always want to know what other people think, what they think could be improved. Um, Cause I feel like I grow a lot from knowing what other people like. I guess trust the process is very important because I tend to doubt myself a lot. And then I get to the point where I'm asking for feedback and people are like, oh, this is amazing. And I feel like you just have to trust in yourself and trust that you're going to make the decisions for your art that will make it flourish. And um, also to collaborate because that's the best way to like learn new things. A lot of the skills I know now, for example, weaving, which I'm kind of fanatic about, um, I learned that just through asking to learn. Um, and I think collaborating is a great way to both learn new skills and also like get a little exposure. Well, even before working here, I'm like a regular library patron. So um, I actually read a lot of nonfiction. It's a great place to go for to like find books about like making and art and um, sometimes I, like my brain's just too fried to like think of a new thing to make. So you find something in a book and you're like, oh, I'll recreate that. And then it's a good way to like keep that spurring going. And also um, 3D printing, very expensive, but the fact that libraries have them is like amazing. You can just print stuff. So I guess this goes back to some of the things I was talking about. Um, this was a community graffiti wall I did. Um, I did the, all the artwork on the bottom. It's actually an, an apocalypse scene. <laughs> um, and then I put it up and um, it was up for a week and people just kind of added to it as they passed by it in the hallway. And I think it's pretty awesome um, what we did with just like Crayola markers. Um, and just, I don't know, it's cool to see like all different kinds of people like collaborate on it and it makes me very happy.